No need to check on me, mister. I'm still here. How's it going? Got real bad. Be careful, damn now you! you see, Helen, Acre here is a silly boy. And Protus isn't a boy at all. But a chimpanzee a that a man out. shaves a face into every day. Now, that's very useful if you need to climb a tree, but a... You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello? I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? John. John could, easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know, punch us both, as hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The night and the name. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Uh... Come on. <laughs> you really walloped him! Right, yikes! I'm fine. Come on! In the face! Ooh, look there! I got a proper chin! Not Good. like that toe rag. Good lord above! Doesn't hurt. Hey, hey, hit me again. again. Right here. Right here. Oh. Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once. Give me your worst. Oh. I think he's done for. Barely even felt it. <laughs> There's only one thing for it, then. Hit me in the manhood. Don't worry. <laughs> My turn. Oh. 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 Enough, gentlemen. Yes, oh. I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. But he's still alive. Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? <sighs> Let's get you back to your room. Christ! I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Ah! What was that? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you. Get out of here. John Marston! It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> She was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff, good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> oh, it's legal, um, usually. Then... Maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> 
We got a bit of a ride. I know. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Yeah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. What can I do for you? Oh, all right. See what you can find. Like I said, feller's name is Nathan Kirk. Banker, bald, 45. Okay. You head up that way. I'll meet you in a bit. Say, I mean to meet my friend in town, but I don't know where he's staying. Bald New Yorker, Nathan Kirk. You know where he is? Afraid I don't know. Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk? No, not so as I would remember. Curly, I think. Oh, she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the Welcome Center. Most tourists check in there. Okay, thank you. What now? You, uh, you seen a fella? Fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. Well, this one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting.
Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. <gasps> Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Oh! Got him? Oh, shut up! Come on, jump up! Uh. Hey, lady. We gotta get after him. Remember, we want him alive, though. I know. Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I, I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. How, how you buried, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. Quiet now. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So no, I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. Good girl.
ain't looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as... You're okay, girl. You look like an honest enough feller. If I could interest you in bounty work, the poster's on the wall. It's a sorry situation with them mongrel dogs, the Skinner brothers. Just when you thought this country had been civilized. Hello there. You hear what they done up near tall trees? Might be where to look for him, if you can stomach it. I don't think you'll be bringing him in alive, but sure as hell I'd love to spit in his eye before he hung. The mountain country's full of Skinner brothers. You tell me why this one, Elias Green's got a warrant on him. I'd send you after every last one of them jackals if I could. Reason this one's got his picture up is the mayor signed off on it. That's that. Officer? Hello. Keep up the good work. And good luck, mister. Bye. Give him my there. Tomorrow. 
for a trim? go. Let's get back to it. Sir! Howdy! You're okay, mister. Yep. Excuse me, sir. Hey, uh, officer. Hello there. Look where you're going. Yeah, I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> can I help you? Yeah, Mr. Atherton, I hope so. <clears throat> hey, Thank you. I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork.
Easy there. Here! <laughs> You're a good girl now. Very friendly. Now, where are you off to? Don't you don't need to do that. Ah, you're a jumpy one. Jesus, who'd do a thing like this? Hello? Not here.
That was a nice hat you was wearing. I'll make you into a hat, mister. I'd love to see you try. Stay away from you in hell. Come on. Now keep calm! There you go. 
Now, let's get you to Blackwater. How you feeling up there? It ain't a smart man turns his back on me. I'm gonna kill you. I could cut you any time, mister. Do give it a rest. for your own in prison. You ever felt pain, mister? Real pain? Screaming, crying, begging pain? I will put you to a fire. Have you praying for your death? Eyes all white, mouth quivering. I get you. You're gonna suffer, mister. Suffer! <clears throat> you think they want me alive? They won't know what to do with me. The judge gonna let me go so I can come and find you? They want me dead and buried, and all forgotten about. Blackwater Police. Here we go. Come on, Green. Let's get you inside. God damn it! I'll bite you! Yeah, yeah. Mind yourself. Well... Got you that Skinner, brother. Elias Green. Set me down. Elias Green is a living breed. God damn it. Put him in a cell. You ain't got a rope strong enough for me, Sheriff. Justice will be done and done quick. Lock him up. That man ain't worth spit. But here's what we're paying for him. You don't. Honest work for honest pay. You don't go after these bounties, I'm gonna have to. There's another poster gonna be up right quick. Come back for it. Death on you! Death on you in black! I'll see you.
Okay, girl. Can I help you, friend? I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <laughs> Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy damn city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here. This land belongs to me now. Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner. you the man with two names and no past come on in how'd you make out well let's just say there are no more squatters okay well I got your paperwork ready now you sure about buying this place it's really run down and the price isn't too great I think it would mean a lot for my wife at least mean I was listening to her okay well sign here and here Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm choking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. I'm <laughs> just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. 
I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> Not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. No, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> You got a horse? Get on it. Follow me. A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so... You think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. Me again.
Working hard? <clears throat> it's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town. Uh, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Uh, oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Let's get off. All right. Yeah. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slope. Now, uh, how about I take the saloons? And you take the slums. Ah. Ah, Come on, move it! How can I help you today, sir? Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. No. Nope. Sorry, mister. No. Nope. Actually, yes. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnin. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. I think they might be starting soon. I would head along that way. Saint Saturnin. Enjoy the fight!
took you so long. Do you? Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Asked that first barman I met, and he told me Charles Folks was here. Still love a surprise. <laughs> Not one of life's great nice mysteries, it turns and you out. You are a killer. <laughs> we both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're. You're. I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of, just... I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you. An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable. The unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf! You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Pretend he's Micah. Hit him, Lone Wolf. Knock him out. Try and stay on your feet, you hear? Don't black out just yet. Hit him, Lone Wolf. Knock him out. Hit him, Charles. <laughs> Come on, Lone Wolf. Gotta get you the hell out of here. Hey! Lone Wolf! Whoa! How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. So it goes. Here's your share, partner. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying me. around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Uh, just have a few errands to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. This way. Uh, my bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. Now, as I was saying, he was a good man. 
So, what were you saying? He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding what his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss. The agents made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Hey. Everything that happened, all those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. If it wasn't for... We were on a very bad path. And Micah Bell dragged us into the abyss. Mm. It never ends well. Gangs like ours don't ride off into this. Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> Gunshots, better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No, we can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me. That I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. John Charles! <laughs> you boys been off getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> 